What comes to mind when you think about being a digital nomad? Working on the beach. Delicious exotic food. Visiting distant places. And enjoy perfect climate. Everybody boasts about their nomadic lifestyle, but what's it really like? What don't they show on social media? I've been living a digital nomad lifestyle for the past year, and I always thought being a digital nomad was so cool that they didn't have to work. They were just sitting in nice cafes or chilling at the beach, and they were making money. How could they have such an incredible and relaxed lifestyle? Well, actually, not everything is as it seems. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. They show us about being free. But in reality, they are burdened by all the devices and constantly searching for somewhere to charge them. When everybody else is on holiday, I still have to work. But sometimes, you just get bored of it and you just want to have fun. But the next day, you still need to do work. They boast you can work everywhere, but it's not always possible. I can't see anything. It's impossible. Although, at the same time, you have to work on unsuitable conditions because you need to deliver a project. And it's so stressful. If you're in a remote place, the internet might not be the best. I have a meeting in five minutes! What am I going to do? Thank you very much for all my patrons. I'm, I've got new patrons. Thank you for watching my content. If you also want to support this channel, please go to my patron that is below. And yeah, I upload more content there. If you want to see my behind the scenes, you'll find them there. Obviously, this video is a bit of a joke. I always see people showing off about their nomadic lifestyle without saying the downsides. And I think I'm guilty of this myself. On this trip, we had more than a few not good situations and that gave me the idea to make fun of my own posts boasting about my nomadic lifestyle. Travel comes with a lot of potential for stress, but when you're on holiday, it's easy to roll with the punches. When you act with deadlines, emails, clients, things can be sometimes overwhelming. I feel very fortunate to live this way and I think the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. Sometimes when the internet cuts out in my Airbnb, I feel like I've never really appreciated my old job in an office. If you're a digital nomad, I really want to know your experience. Let me know in the comments if you had a nightmare travel situation and how do you cope with this? When my husband and I moved to Vietnam, my husband was the only person who was working and that allowed me the freedom to work on my own projects. Now, two years later, I feel very fortunate to work from wherever I want. And I also want to take a moment to show my appreciation to those who have liked, watched and subscribed to my channel and to all of those who take Spanish classes with me. Thank you very much, Guy, because without you, I wouldn't be able to make videos about complaining about my lifestyle. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave you with some downsides of being a digital nomad. Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> he will get you when you least expect it. The problem is, la comida in Mexico es tan buena, buenísima. Es mi favorito en el mundo después de Finlandia. Pero, 
cuando tú comes mucho es posible la próxima día se fue tacos and the chili oil oh. is so good I will keep eating them no matter how much they make me poop <laughs> I suppose I can see why people like to have offices now because you can be in one place and just do your work there but at the same time it means that I can be productive um, and do other things at the same time okay, okay. <laughs> yeah Agarra tu cóctel. Working on the beach. Sí. Video va a ser, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es, es, okay. ya estoy grabando. Okay.